Hello everyone. Welcome to the allotment. It's a beautiful sunflower. It's actually not facing the sun. I'm wondering why. It's time to harvest the shallots. I've been looking forward to harvest them. Once the shallots are harvested, these celery seedlings will go in that place. These are quite ready. They are big enough with, I suppose they will have good root system. But there are some which are very small. This is a verbena. First time I am growing it. Okay, let's start harvesting them. They do not contain deep roots so they come off easily and all i will be doing is dig them up get some of the dirt out not all just some of the dirt out and um, keep it on a wired shelf just to dry ideally you should lift the shallots when their leaf starts to yellow do not wait for them to completely lose their leaves if you wait for them to lose the leaves completely there is a possibility that the shallots will start to rot i have lost one or two bunches like that some of the bunch are very very good with loads of shallots in it some are just two or three shallots so it's a mixed bag of success that one particularly is really good it's got at least 10 shallots in that one bunch When you lift each of the bunch, just squeeze the shallots and check if they are firm. Because if they are soft, then they have started to rot. And then do not keep those in, in your whole shallot harvest because it will then rot and spoil the other shallots as well. So just check your shallots as and when you are lifting to see if they are firm. That's all the shallots I got from 12 sets of shallots I planted in March. That's a good harvest for a couple of months and little care. Before I move on and plant all the celery seedlings, I'll just lightly uh, loosen the soil and remove any weeds that are popping up here and there. I've raked and removed all the weeds and stones. Now let's dig a hole which is not much bigger than what the sadly seedlings are and then plant them. I'm going to plant them six inch apart and I will plant them in a grid. My spade is six inch long so I'm going to use that as a measurement and dig six inch uh, apart holes and then plant all the celeries. Really the transplanting seedling should look like this particular one with good root system and strong stems but not all of my seedlings are on the same stage because my seeds did not germinate at the same time and i had to do multiple sowing to get the numbers i needed 
so i'm going to plant them in a staggered format so not in straight rows or in a grid format i'm doing it in a staggered format because this helps celery to self blanch if you sow if you plant them in straight rows uh, then they will be stems which are exposed to sunlight and that will not create the blanching effect on the stems once i planted all my seedlings i applied a layer of compost which i had used to grow methi seedlings earlier as a mulch and water them thoroughly celery needs a lot of water they are water thirsty plants the more water you have give the more juicy the stems will be so here is my celery bed i hope you enjoyed the video see you soon with another one